I should. I, I told niggas that I don't want no motherfucking morning flights. I told you that. I still got shit to do. I still got shit to work. So what's the league for? Up. I got to get my kids straight. I need to get my hair cut. I got to go get the shit that I'm wearing. All of this shit, bro. In the midst of still doing my last minute prep. So when I'm sending you the messages and you not hitting me back, you feel me? I'm thinking like, oh shit, well, they must not want the battle no more. They just want me to send the money back. So you feel me? I'm not last minute prepping or none of that shit. Now my mind is on some whole other shit. So now that y'all hit me back and now y'all want me to, oh, just jump right back in mode and get on the plane and go out there half ass. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. Oh, bro, but that's you for that's on you for being half assed I don't know nobody else. That's on cap. What you do you mean? Do, look, you love to do that shit, boy. Bro, I, because it's the truth. You sit here giving us like claim. Love to do that. Claim. Claim. You, you right. signed you're the contract. Right. You right. took listen, the deposit. Listen, listen. I'm a Period. Right about that. Listen, you right about that. You are. Yes, what you talking about? Yeah, you are absolutely. Absolutely not, bro. Hell no. Hell no. We not let. I'm not letting this slide, bro. We gotta talk, bro. We got to talk. And I wasn't even going to speak on this, bro. Clean paper, bro. Really, bro? Yo, I just finished watching this live, man. With, um, First off, bro, I got to shout out. Big shout out to Angry Fans, man. Shout out to Angry Fans. Um, I just finished watching a, a, a live with Angry Fans, Clean Paper, e -Ness, and then uh, the league owner or or, or the, the person that booked the flights and everything. If you don't know, man, Clean Paper was for, was for the battle e Ness, And he no-showed, right? So I'm like, bro. So I really wasn't even going to speak on it till I seen this live. No. Bro, we got to start holding these, these niggas accountable, shorty. Like, I'm watching a live and I don't hear nothing but excuse at the excuse after excuse. Um, all I hear is a nonchalant attitude. We got a sorry ass apology at the end, bro. Come on, bro. No. Shout out to Angry Fans, man, for keeping it real, for not not being compromised, for standing on his ten toes, man. Letting him know Angry Fans wasn't backing down. He, straight up. He straight was telling them, like, bro, you making a bunch of excuses. The shit that you talking about don't got nothing to do with nothing like you feel me like if y'all hey if y'all done and watch that live please go watch that live man seriously we gotta start holding these these battle rappers accountable bro like you feel me like me i'm a real fan of battle rap you know what i mean like i'm really a fan of battle rap and that's why i'm even trying to um hold on y'all i'm a real fan of uh battle rap you feel me so that's why I can speak on this. Like, I'm a fan. I'm somebody that actually support the culture. I'm somebody that used to battle. Look it up. Lord Tate versus Baltimore Battles. Type it in YouTube. It'll pop up. So when, I, so when these, these, these battle rappers, bro, who, for one, yo, you know how many people want y'all position? Want y'all spots? You getting paid to do what you love. You getting paid to rap. You getting paid three rounds. You getting... Flew out, paused, flown out, you know what I mean? They taking care of your flight, taking care of your hotel, and all you got to do is focus on doing what you love, rap. Nah, bro, we can't keep these battle rappers, keep no-showing, choking, freestyling. Charlie Clips, I'm going to get to you too. Charlie Clips versus Jazz, we got to talk. But right now, we focus on clean paper, bro. So he was supposed to battle Enos, y'all. He didn't show up. He no showed, right? So basically he get on um Instagram live with angry fans and try to explain himself. So I'm trying to listen to him, like, all right, let's see what he maybe he had a family emergency or something. You feel me? Or maybe, you know, some real life stuff happened. I understand if situations like that. Bro, this nigga get up on a live. <laughs> Yo, I'ma put the clips in here too. This nigga get on live. Oh, oh, you know. They should they stop they text me back hours later. I had to change my flight two times. They booked me a flight in the morning. I don't I didn't like that because I gotta get a haircut. I gotta find something to wear. I gotta find somebody to drive me to the airport. Bees book my shit at six. 
You feel me? Because when I get up, nigga, I still got to go get my hair cut. I got to get my boys straight, nigga. I got to find me something to wear, nigga. I got to find somebody who going to take me up there, nigga, because I'm not leaving my shit parked up there and paying that motherfucking fee all the money. Yeah, but I, mean, I hear you, but all that is like on you. You supposed to figure all that out. The league's supposed to book you and pay you, bro. Bro, what the f Shout out to Angry Fans, man, because he, he, he called them out on that book. Bro, that got nothing. What the hell do that? Bro, you getting paid. You signed a contract. You got paid, and you accepted it a deposit, bro. You sound, yo, he sound like a little, clean paper, if you watch this, bro, I rocks with you, but you sound like a little ass child, bro. Like, I don't, me as a fan, I don't want to hear that excuses, bro. I really don't. I'm sorry. Yeah, all that shit was excuse, bro. You could have did all that shit the day before. What are you talking about, bro? You got paid. You accepted the, the deposit. You signed the contract. Then come to find out. Once the league owner jumped on the live, well, he say he not the league owner. His name Keith. He say he just the person that uh set up the event, uh book book their flights, whatever. He get on the live, come to find out, bro. They booked this man flight in December, yo, before Christmas. What time? Did, when did it take a couple hours to hit you back after the flight was already missed? Cause we arranged this like months ago. We booked this shit before Christmas. Before I think it, yeah, like I sent you your flight info, all that good shit. I don't want, I don't want to pay. I don't want you paying the narrative like we didn't. Before three months ago, you feel me? Three months ago, bro, a little longer for real. We in March. They booked this man flight in December before Christmas, bro. Come on, y'all. It's unacceptable, bro. Like you gotta hold hold some accountability, my guy. Like straight up. And um, so he they book they end up we end up finding out on a live that they booked this joint in December. He ain't, he ain't have no issues with it. You know what I mean? He he seen it and all that. Then come to find out, bro, they changed this flight three times, bro. I see. We scheduled. Take that out oh, whoa, 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 whoa. We scheduled and we paid for three flights for you. Each one you said you're gonna be on. Here. Uh, uh blaming nobody for the second and the, the, the third flight and all that shit, nigga. I said, once I missed the flights, my mind was no longer on that, my nigga. <clears throat> I it no seems like your mind wasn't on the battle period, honestly, bro. How, when what I was fuck you talking about? How, he went ahead and said he booked three separate flights. What the fuck do you need three separate flights for, bro? Bro, he said two. The only guy say three. Bro, that's too much, bro. Like, these leagues, I'm going to start holding y'all accountable too, man. Stop stop being nice to these niggas, man. Enos, Enos too, bro. Enos was on live with him, acting like everything cool. Like, oh, no, you know, we talk, you know, I stay out of the pot. Man, check, man. Y'all niggas better get some heart straight up. I'm from Baltimore. I'm going to call it like it is. Man, straight up, I'll be mad as hell. This is what I love. This is my profession. I'll be damn, yo, I, I fly, I'm, I live on the East Coast, I fly all the way to the West Coast, I, I take time out my schedule to prepare three rounds, and this nigga don't show up, and, and it ain't no emergency, like, if it was some emergency stuff, a family situation, I understand, but he just, oh, you know, it is, you know, once I missed the flights, I just, my mind wasn't on the battle no more, it is what it is, no. It's time, y'all. Y'all gotta hold these niggas accountable, shorty. Straight up, Enes, you should have spoke your mind. These these league owners, who, all that, yo, hold these niggas accountable. Stop being nice to them, bro. Straight up, and I'ma stand on that. You feel me? They all being nice and oh no, you know, man, bro, it's unacceptable. So they didn't book three flights for this man. I'm looking at my notes, y'all. They booked his flights in December. He let them know the day of that he wasn't coming to the battle, bro. The morning of. To be out there, that's all. Okay. And the truth is, okay. and the truth is, I text you and I let you know that I wasn't coming. The day of. The day I of. Wasn't coming. Oh. You feel me? And the day before. The, the, day, day of, the day of. The day before. The day of. Three the days day of. later. Uh, it was the, it was the it day. Of. Wait a minute. No. It See, was the day saying, of. No. That's not the day before. The day of. Three days. No, nigga. Which day, day was it? The morning, bro. Come on now. What I get from it, bro, is that he really didn't want to do the battle at all. Like, he just ain't want to do it. 
I'm telling you, bro. That's what it is. Like, because there's no way, bro. It's a way you handle stuff. It's a way you conduct business. Like, and I just feel like clean paper, he dropped the ball, man. We need to hold him accountable. Like, stop booking that, man. Like, stop letting them play and let them know it ain't okay. That's why I'm going to keep saying a big shout out to Angry Fans, man. I love it because I felt like Angry Fans, he he talked, he talked, spoke up for the culture. He, he stood up for the fans that, that don't get to talk to him, that don't get to have an interview with him or don't get to get on Instagram live. He ain't sugarcoated. He ain't bite his tongue. And we need more people in the battle rap culture like that. You feel me? So shout out to him for that, for, you know, keeping it real and telling them, no, bro, you this is not cool. This You making excuses. All of the excuses he was making, bro, oh, you know, I can't, uh, I couldn't do the flight because I still had to get my hair cut. I had to, uh, I gotta find something to wear. I gotta get somebody to take me. I gotta make sure my kid, bro, once you accepted that contract and accepted that deposit and it was in December months ago before Christmas, bro, all of that is on you. What are you, what is he not comprehending? Any battle rap fans, y'all comment if I'm tripping. What is he not comprehending? Nigga, you got paid for a service. All that extra stuff, you accommodate yourself around, based on around the flight that they gave you. Meaning, you should have took care of everything the day before. You feel me? If I would have got paid for that, I would have got a deposit, a contract, and they sent me my flight months ago. All right, cool. Let me make sure I, I set up everything based around my flight. So I'm going to do it ahead of time. There's no excuse, bro. All you did was make excuses. It's unacceptable, bro. Clean paper, get it together, bro. Straight up, man. You feel me? Then he all on there just all nonchalant. Oh, oh, I don't apologize. Y'all lucky y'all got an apology out of me. And oh, you playing dope fiend games, boy. I'ma call. I ain't I ain't one of these bloggers. Nigga. I'm from Baltimore. I'ma keep it real. You playing dope fiend games, sure. And yeah, I'm mad as hell. I'm mad as hell, bro, cause I don't like that. I don't like, I feel like, bro, you robbed the culture. It's people that paid the pay-per-view, even though that that's a whole nother video. Even though the stream and all that was bullcrap, people paid to see, to see you. People, you know what I mean? Even the people that brought tickets to actually come in the building paid to see you. So for you to have this, for you to no-show and then have this, I don't give a fuck attitude, bro. That's wrong, bro. And you need to hold yourself accountable for that. You feel me? So that's all I'm going to do, man. I don't want to keep this video too long, man. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, I'm out here getting to it. I'm out in uh I'm out in Delaware right now waiting for a load. Um any CDL questions, make sure y'all hit me up. Hey, battle rap culture, we gonna take a stand. You heard me. I'm out.